What's going on guys, Shifty here from Insight Gaming, and today I'm going to be helping you solve the murder mystery hidden side quest in Grand Theft Auto V. This quest is only available for returning players on PS4 and Xbox One, and can only be done by Michael, so keep that in mind. And the reason I'm calling it a hidden side quest is because it is not marked on the map, and is not required for the 100% game completion, but does reward you with some awesome vintage filters, one of which you can see me playing with here. And in order to complete this side quest, you need to find four messages in order, carved in walls around Los Santos. You will then need to complete a uh, series of investigations in order to unlock your reward. So to start things off here, message number one is at the Gentry Manor Hotel in West Vinewood, and should look familiar to you if you played the uh, Strangers and Freaks mission with Franklin, where you do Beverly's uh, paparazzi sex tape mission. But anyway, you're going to go up these side stairs to enter the hotel, and you'll see several villas after entering. Um, the message is going to be on the far wall of the left villa, and it reads, Old Fred acts nice, but it ain't so. Next up, you'll be heading to City Hall, which is another familiar location if you've completed the Barry um, Strangers and Freaks missions. And this message is going to be carved into the southwest corner of City Hall, right behind the building, on the lower level. And it reads, Fred makes cartoons for kids. Funny thing considering what he did. Now moving on to the Oriental Theater in Vinewood, just east of message number one. And what you're going to want to do is go into that open courtyard entrance of the Oriental Theater and you'll see palm trees on the left and the right. Head towards the left and look behind the palm tree to find message number three reading, Ain't no mystery, they drowned her because of what she knew. Message number four, which is the last message, can be found at the Galileo Observatory. And to find this, you're going to want to go to the east side of the observatory and take the down ramp to the lower level, where you will find the carved message reading David Richards' nose. So now you have found all four messages and it is time to start investigating. The next thing we gotta do is find the missing woman that supposedly drowned. Now this is probably one of the most difficult parts. You're gonna wanna either hop into a submarine or use some scuba gear. Uh, if you purchase the docks with Michael, that should be pretty simple. But it's something that you'll need because you do have to dive pretty deep and there's gonna be a lot of searching around down there. But the body location is right offshore near Fort Zancudo. So grab your gear, dive down, search for the woman. If it helps at all, look for a glowing SMG on the floor of the ocean. She is right by that, as you see in this gameplay here. But once you have found the missing woman whose name will pop up in a little bit, you need to find the confession letter, which is in Solomon Richards' office at the Richards Majestic Studio. And the office is only accessible by Michael after you have finished all of Solomon's missions. So be sure to get those finished before you hop onto this. But anyway, you want to head to the studio after 9 p.m. And you'll see a glowing yellow marker identical to uh, the markers you use to start missions. However, it will not be on the map. So head into that marker, you'll find yourself in Solomon's office. Head over to his desk and read the note. And you have found the confession letter, as well as the location of Isaac's body, who you need to find in order to unlock these filters. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do next. And this is the final part of the mystery. You want to head to the abandoned mine that was described in the note. And this can be found in Great Chaparral on a windy mountain road. As you can see my location on the map right now. You then want to blow down the entrance to the cave, or mine rather, using whatever explosive you have. Plasma gun works great. 
and you want to make sure that you have a weapon with a flashlight because it is very dark in these mines but anyway follow the mine down until it forks and you will see isaac's body laying there approach it and you will have completed the murder mystery as well as gain some fun vintage filters that you can apply to your gameplay and make it look like you're playing sometime in the 1940s so after you have finished the uh side quest approaching isaac's corpse is not the only way to change these filters you can actually call him on your phone and it'll say he's busy but uh upon hanging up it will change the filter to the next one there are only two there's a sepia and a black and white and calling him again will return it to the original look of the game so there you have it guys just a little something extra to do in grand theft auto 5 and something that gives the game a whole new feel but let me know what you guys think and as always please remember to rate comment and subscribe i'll be back with more i'll see you guys later peace out